Super K-Pop. What are you planning on doing tomorrow? What about tonight? Now we're constantly making plans, but it's hard to stick to them. For example, right now you might be planning to take a walk tomorrow morning, but on Sunday, you probably want to sleep in. But there's no need to beat yourself up that, because it's the weekend, you worked hard Monday through Friday, so on Saturday and Sunday, you deserve a couple more hours in bed. This is Super K-Pop, and I'm your DJ, One Kai. And the first song for this Saturday was from Crayon Pop, Ba Ba Ba. And uh, yeah, happy Saturday to all the Super K-Pop listeners around the world. What are you guys doing right now at this moment? All right, now let me tell you how you can tune in to Super K-Pop. First, log on to www.adidangradio.com and click on the on-air button. Uh, second, you can download the Adidang Radio application on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. And third, if you're in the Jeju-do Island, turn your radio dials to 88.7 in the Jeju area, 88.1 in the Seogipo area, and 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. No matter how you're tuning in, please log on to www.adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answer story quizzes, and your questions for me and my guests on the Super K-Pop message board. Hong Kong DBC's digital channel, Monday through Friday, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And also, if you're in Busan, you can join with us. Tune your radio in Busan EFM, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can listen to Adidang Radio through TuneIn, an online radio service site with 40 million users worldwide. And you can download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. And uh, I have a quick special announcement for you guys. Adidang Radio uh, will be having a K-pop concert in celebration of the opening of the Selgwipo Arts Center. And uh, this will be on November 29th, Saturday at 5.30 p.m. at the Selgwipo Arts Center at Jeju Island. And it will be hosted by Stephanie, uh, who's the host of Sound K. And the artists uh, that will be performing at the K-pop Concert will be Cool E J Hun, Kabi and J, Speaker S, Top Dog B I G, and Chan Na B. And the tickets will be available on November 17th. So get your tickets uh, if you want to attend this great concert. All right, the next two songs that I'm going to play for you guys is by Chen from EXO called Best Luck, Chegoe Hengun, and E Ye Jun, I Can't, Nan Mute. And those two songs were by Chen Exo, Best Luck, Chegoe Hengun, and Yi Ye Jun. I can't. Nan Mote. All right, now it's time to read some of your messages. And the first message uh, for this Saturday comes from Algeria. It's Iklas Hikari, and she says, Hello, Opa. Well, hello, Iklas. How are you? And she says, How are you doing today? Have an amazing weekend and take care. Well, uh, today is Saturday, uh, one of my favorite days. I'm loving the weekend. And, uh, you know, today is just one of those days where it's like it's so relaxing, so soothing, and you just want to stay at home and chill. That's the type of day I'm feeling right now. But uh, any spl- uh, special plans for you, e class? Well, if so, let me know. And uh, thank you for your message. And uh, we have another one from the Philippines. It's Na Pauline Lopez. And she says, hi, Opa, how was your day? Now, I would like to ask uh, if there's any Filipino food you want to try. Now, uh, I can give it to you. If Electro Boys visit the Philippines, can you say hi to Chakun Opa for me? I love you guys fighting. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know any, uh, you know, real specific Philippine food, Filipino food, but I'm sure if I tried it, I will really love it. And uh, is there a Filipino food that you want to recommend to me that I should eat? And uh, I hope that uh, Lecture Boys will go to Philippines soon so uh, we can go see you and all the other fans. And uh, I'll make sure that uh, that you said hi to Chakun because I see him every day at the studio around like 8 to 9 p.m. But uh, thank you for your message and uh, I hope you have a great Saturday. All right, the next song that I'm going to play for you guys is by Cho Shin Zong and it's called She's Gone, Puk Pung Soguro. Dangerous, and that song was by Cho Shin Zong called She's Gone, Pok Pung Soguro. All right, now there's more messages coming in, and uh, this one is from Singapore. It's Chloe. Hello, Chloe, and she says, Dear Opa, happy Saturday. Uh, I had a burger for lunch. 
Uh, I will have a movie and dinner gathering later. And meanwhile, I'll stay at home listening to your radio. Uh, I've hmm, Have you been to Singapore? Hope to see you and your group in Singapore one day. How long have you been in Korea? But fighting for the rest of the day. Mwah, love you. Well, uh, thank you for your message, uh, Chloe. Uh, to answer your question, I've been in Korea for, I think, maybe 11 to 12 years already. It's over. It's been past 10 years. And, uh, yeah, time truly flies. So, yeah, as you know, I was born in the States. And uh, I was there to my early 20s. And uh, somehow I got picked up randomly uh, to be a rapper in Korea. And uh, basically that's how my life started. I started performing when I was young, uh, back in, I guess, junior high school. And professionally, I started performing around the early 20s. But uh, that's uh, how I came to Korea. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we haven't been to Singapore yet, but uh, I would love to see our beautiful fans. And hopefully one day uh, we can make a trip to Singapore. And uh, what's that movie you're planning to watch? Because I truly do recommend you watching Interstellar. It's a very, very great movie. But uh, thank you for your message, and uh, have a great Saturday. And uh, we have one from the Philippines. It's Verly Ann. And she says, Hi, Opa. Hi, Verly. Uh, I think of taking a bath, but I heard your voice, so I decided to wait a little. Or maybe I'll just take a bath later. I can't resist your voice. Wow. Thank you so much, uh, Verly. And uh, I I'm so uh, flattered that you like my voice. Uh, but I'm really happy that you're tuning in, and uh, I hope that uh, you will feel happy after listening to the show. And uh, if there's any requests that you would like to make, please uh, leave a message on our Super K Pop message board. All right. Thank you so much, Verly. And uh, we have one more uh, from Taiwan. It's Rainy. Wow, Rainy, it's been a very, very long time. And uh, she says, I have a question. Well, I still uh, have to prepare for my tour guide license. And now I have a short break, so I'm tuning in. One kind opa. Now, what kind of songs uh, do you like to listen to uh, when you feel sad? Now, for me, I listen to ballad songs. Actually, listening to those sad songs make me feel more sad. But I just can't stop listening to them. And listening to upbeat songs when I feel sad. Uh, it's weird that I feel more sad. What should I do? I feel so down recently, rainy. Oh, I'm truly sorry that you're feeling down. And uh, I think it's because you're probably, you know, you're working hard on trying to get that tour guide license. And uh, you're not seeing your friends or maybe even your family a lot. And that's why, you know, you're feeling sad because you're so busy. Or maybe uh, you didn't get to see me. But, uh, you know, the best way for me to really overcome any type of sadness is basically to meet my friends. Uh, to meet people who make me laugh. And uh, if that doesn't work, I basically turn on really upbeat songs, really exciting songs, songs that make you feel happy. And uh, a song that uh, I would like to recommend for you, uh, since you're feeling sad, it's a song by Pharrell, and it's called Happy. And I'm sure if you listen to that a couple of times, your mood swing will uh, change. But uh, I hope you feel better, Rainy, and uh, just know that uh, I'm here for you always. So please cheer up, okay? All right, the next two songs that I'm going to play for you guys is by Gina, Gina's Secret, Yep and Sogot, and Nasty Nasty Knock. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuning in to the best radio station. You can hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 p.m. Every day with your DJ, one kind, right here on Super K Pop. Thanks, y'all, for tuning to Super K Pop, and uh, I'm your DJ, One Kind. Now, uh, for pick your lines. Now, if there is a line in your favorite K pop song uh, that you don't understand and that you would like to get a better meaning of, please uh, send those lines uh, to our Super K Pop message board right now, and uh, I will translate those lines for you into English so you can get a better understanding of your favorite K-pop song and then you'll enjoy it. All right, now it's time to read more of your messages and uh this one is from the USA. It's Lorena. Hi one kind. Hi Lorena. How are you doing today? Well, right now 
I'm working on my math homework and it's stressing me out. Oh, so much work. I'll try to survive since listening to Super K-pop put me more at ease. And thanks for the great playlist. Well, uh, I'm so glad that you're liking the playlist. And, uh, you know, I think all of us stress out when we're doing our homework because we just don't want to do it. And we want to finish it fast as possible, as fast as possible. But uh, my advice for you is to leave it alone. Leave your math homework alone. You know, just rest for a couple hours. Enjoy Super K-pop. And you need to really refresh your brain, your mind. And then, uh, yeah, why don't you get back to it a couple hours later. And I'm sure uh, the homework will go out well. All right? Fighting. And uh, I hope Super K-pop can really boost up your mood. All right. And the next one uh, is from Iceland. It's 80s. John Ear. Uh Good morning, Opa. Good morning, 80s. Uh, it's so cold right now. I woke up before my alarm rang, but I couldn't go back to sleep. Have an awesome day. Love from Iceland. Well, uh, talking about waking up before the alarm rings, uh, that's been happening to me a lot these days. Every Almost every single day, uh, I'll have the alarm clock till like maybe 11 in the morning, and uh, I'll wake up like at 10. I don't know why. And if anyone knows the reason, please tell me. But uh, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. And uh, yeah, be careful of the cold weather because it's really cold in Seoul too. That's why I'm dressing really warm like an Eskimo. But uh, thank you so much, 80s, and love from Super K-Pop. All right, and we have uh, one more from Israel. It's Netta Benjamin, and she says, I barely slept last night because of the throat pains. I hate being sick. I think we all hate being sick, uh, Netta. And the best way to really uh, overcome throat pains is basically drink something warm, uh, before you go to sleep and have a uh, scarf covering your neck while you're going to sleep because you need to keep your neck warm. And uh, the best way to really get over it is what I do is I drink uh, honey water, very hot honey water. And uh, after I wake up, uh, if it's it feels a lot better. So if you do that for a couple of days, I'm sure you'll feel better. But uh, yeah, hope you feel better, Netta. Okay. All right, now the next song that I'm going to play for you guys, it's by Kopi Sonyeon, and it's called Your Light Weight Like a Feather. 너는 깃털처럼 가벼워서. My song for you. Now, uh, is there someone you want to congratulate? Someone you want to comfort? Well, uh, dedicate a song to them on our corner for my song for you. And uh, today's dedication song comes from the Philippines. It's My Cell. Hello, Randy Opa. Hi, My Cell. Uh, I'm feeling blue right now because I miss my friends. Now, it's been a while since we had bonding together. Now, they're living far from me, so we rarely see each other. Can you please play Hug Me by Crush? Now, this song is for me. I want a hug right now. Can you give me a virtual hug, Opa? Please, thank you. Well, I love this song myself. I love this song truly. Uh, I love the singer Crush, and this song "Hug Me" is a very great song. And uh, I will. I'm going to play this dedication song for you. But before that, I'm going to give you a virtual hug right now. I'm giving it to you right now. Yes. Hope you felt that. But uh, I hope you uh, cheer up, and uh, I'm sure your friends. Uh, miss you too and uh you you guys should set a date where you all where you guys can all meet each other in one place all right cheer up and uh here's your dedication song it's by crush and it's called hug me what a great dedication song and that was by crush hug me all right now it's time for me to introduce you to a new song uh this week a new girl group from infinite's label ulim entertainment uh, made their debut now, the eight members are named Baby Soul, uh, Yu Ji E, So Ji Su, Yi Mi Ju, K Jin, Ryu Su Jung, and Chung Ye In. Now, Yu Ji E has been seen before in the reality program You Are My Opa, uh, which featured Infinite soon after their debut. Now, Baby Soul has promoted before as a singer with a track featuring uh, Tong Wu. Now, everyone is eager to see what these ladies have to offer. And they kicked it off well with their debut song called Good Night, Light Yesterday. 
So let's check it out right now by the lovelies. Good night like yesterday. 어제처럼 good night. And uh, that song was by lovelies. Good night like yesterday. 어제처럼 good night. All right, now it's time for some pick your lines. And this one is from Peru. It's Pablo Vargas. What's up, Pablo? And he says, hey, Randy, uh, I'm Pablo from Peru and I need your help. Can you please translate this song? It's Christ Malo Win by Sateji. Really good melody. Thanks. And uh, I really like this song. And as you know, uh, Sateji is a legend in the K-pop scene. He truly opened a lot of doors for us musicians. And the lyrics uh, that Pablo brought in for us today are, here it is. 밤새 고민한 새롭게 만든 정책 어때? Meaning, what do you think about our new policy that I pondered overnight? And the next lines are, 겁도 주고 선물도 줄게. Wow. I'll scare you, but I'll also give you a gift. 온정을 원한 세상에. For the world that wants compassion. And the next lines are, 요람부터 무덤까지, meaning from the cradle to the grave. And the next lines are, 난 알라카메 slave, but 달콤한 cake. Oh, I like that metaphor. I'm a slave of comfort, but a sweet cake. And the next lines are, 난 불순한 스펙이래, 리스트에서 제외. Meaning, they say I am a pure qualification, and I'm excluded from the list. And the next two lines are, he's checking it double, you better not cry. Wow, these lyrics are very deep. And as you can see, uh, Sateji is a very great, deep lyricist. But uh, yeah, now you have a better understanding of the song. And uh, thank you for sending in Pick Your Lines, Pablo. And for you, Pablo, I'm going to play that song right now. Here it is, Sateji, Christ Malo Win. All right, that song was by Sateji, Christ Malo Win. And uh, as you know, part two K-pop legend is waiting for us. So uh, if there is a, you know, K-pop song uh, back from the early 1990s to the early 2000s uh, that you would love to hear, can you please send us a message to our Super K-pop message board? Because uh, we're going to do our best to play those songs for you. And uh, as you know, K-pop legends are the people that open uh, the doors for us musicians. So please stay tuned. And the uh, next song that I'm going to play for you guys, uh, it's a song by No Minu, and it's called Rockstar. You're listening to the best radio station where you can hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 p.m. Every day with me, one time. Super K-pop. All right, welcome to part two. Uh, let me tell you once again how to join us on Super K Pop. First, log on to www.idownradio.com and click on the on air button. Uh, second, you can download the ID Down Radio application on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. And third, if you're in the Jeju Island, turn your radio dials to 88.7 in the Jeju area, 88.1 in the Sogipo area, and 101.9 in the Tejong area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. No matter how you're tuning in, please log on to www.adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answer store quizzes, and your questions for me and my guests on the Super K-Pop message board, Hong Kong DBC's digital channel, Monday through Friday, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And also, if you're in Busan, uh, you can join with us. Tune your radio in Busan EFM, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can listen to Adidang Radio through TuneIn, an online radio service site with 40 million users worldwide. And you can download TuneIn to Google Play or the App Store. And uh, I have a special announcement. Uh, Adidang Radio uh, will have a K-pop concert in a celebration of the opening of the Sugwipo Art Center. And this K-pop concert will be on uh, November 29th, 5.30 p.m. Saturday at the Sugwipo Art Center at Jeju Island. And it'll be hosted by Stephanie, uh, who's the host of Sound K. And the artists that will be performing uh, for this K-pop concert will be Cool E. J. Hun, Gabi N. J., Speaker S, Top Dog, B.I.G., Chan Nabi. And the tickets will be available on November 17th. So uh, if you have time, please attend this concert. All right, the next song that I'm going to play for you guys, it's by Temin, and it's called Danger, Credo. K 
K-pop legend. Everything that has a present has a past. Now on Saturdays, we look back on the legendary K-pop artists and songs that made it possible for us to enjoy today's K-pop. Now from the 1990s to the 2000s, these classic songs will bring you closer to the spirit of K-pop. Now today's first song for K-pop legend is Om jong Hwa, and the song is called Invitation. Now Om jong Hwa is one of Korea's first female solo singers uh, who paved the way for future artists like Iori, Baek ji and Ailey. Now she first debuted as an actress and later debuted uh, as a singer in 1993 with the song Pupil. Now, Om um jong Hwa became popular with her innovative costumes, her eye-catching performances, and her catchy songs. Now, of her many hit songs, we'll listen to her 1998 song, Invitation. So here it is, Om um jong Hwa, Invitation, Chode.
That was a great seductive song, right? Well, uh, this song was covered by many other singers, so you should check out those versions out as well. All right, next up are two songs from awesome male groups. And uh, the first group is Turbo, and I'm sure everyone knows Turbo. I used to uh, listen to Turbo all the time back in high school. Uh, but Turbo is a idol group from the early 1990s, and the group had two members, Kim Jong-guk, the great singer, and Kim Jong-nam, who was the great dancer and rapper. Now, with each new song, they were able to move up the charts quickly, and uh, one of those songs was called Some Jazz Bar. It was released in 1996, and it was a jazzy song that had a very different feel from Turbo's other songs, which were mostly dance songs. And the next uh, group is a very, very famous hip-hop group, uh, which paved the way for all of us hip-hop artists. And uh, they go by the name of DJ D.O.C. Now, another song uh, I'll play for you is called Remember by DJ D.O.C. Now, I've talked about this group a lot in the corner. And uh, they're a three-member group that debuted in 1994 with this song called The Sorrow of Superman. And the three members are Chang Yeol, Jae Yong, and Han Il. Um, they were constantly getting into trouble fitting their rascal image, but their fans stayed by their side. Now, most of the songs were fun dance songs, but they also had several excellent ballads. Now, one of those songs is from 1999, and it's called Remember. So, let's check out these two songs. Here it is, Turbo, Some Jazz Bar, On a Jazz Bar, and DJ DLC, Remember. 그녀의 속눈썹은 길다.
난 그걸 보는 게 좋았다. 길게 내뿜는 담배 연기를 바라보던 반쯤 감기 면이 좋았다. 그 따뜻한 눈빛이 좋아서 난 자꾸 노래를 부르고 싶었다. 찬란한 희망도 이렇다 할 자주도 없던 내게 유일한 구원은 그녀와의 시간뿐. 그렇게 사랑이 급박할수록 괴로워져 갔다. 군대 안정된 직장. 무턱대고 널 기다리게 안다는 건 사랑이라 이름에 왠 뿌였어 마냥 너의 행복을 보장해 줄수 있는 사람이 있다면 나만큼 아껴줄 수 있는 사람이 있다면 널 보내야 안다고 내 자신을 설득시켰어 그게 내 사랑의 마지막 배려라고 생각했어 아무던 너는 지쳐갔었지 아무런 약속 What'd you guys think? Nice, right? Well, uh, it's nice to see dance and rap singers try their hand at ballad songs as well. All right, now I'd like to play a cool collaboration song for you. And uh, this collaboration song is by Joe P.D. and the Brown Eye Girls. Now, Joe P.D. is a rapper who managed to shake up the K-pop scene without showing his face. He first created a buzz with this unusual music video. And later, as he revealed his appearance... He became a kind of figure in the Korean hip-hop. Now, the Brown Eye Girls is a girl group that is known for their unique style and appearances. Now, in addition to powerful vocals that are hard to come by in other groups. Now, when these two artists come together in 2006 with the collaboration Hold the Line, it was a huge success. And uh, in the future, one of the uh, you know girl groups that I will love to collaborate with is probably Sistar. And uh, probably another girl group would be 21. The reason is because they're great singers. 
they're great performers and uh, I think uh, doing a collaboration with them a you know a crazy exciting song would come out but uh hopefully uh that day will come all right let's check out this song by joe pd and the brown eye girls and it's called hold the line What a fun song, and that was by Joe P.D. and the Brown Eye Girls called Hold the Line. All right, now the next artist uh, for K-pop legend, uh, his name is Kyonu. Now, Kyonu is a ballad singer who debuted in 2005 uh, through a prestigious competition. Now, true to his award, uh, he appeared to the public with excellent vocal skills, and he was supported by the same producer and session team uh, that worked with Hisung and Seven. Now, though everyone took notice of his talented rookie, unfortunately, his popularity did not last very long, but his old songs are still played often even today, 
And uh, we'll listen to his song in just a moment. And uh, the next group is M2M. Now, M2M is a group that debuted with the hopes of becoming the next SG Wannabe, the powerful ballad group. Now, they debuted in 2004 with the powerful ringing vocals and gained a lot of male fans in their teens and 20s. Now, when this song, Three Words, came out, it was one of the most popular songs sung by young men at Norebang Singing Rooms. And I remember uh, singing this at the singing rooms. All right, so here it is. Let's check out these two songs. Kyonu, What My Tears Say, Then Numuri Hanumai, and M2M, Three Words, Se Kulcha. No back and more and go. Says and sad and more to that. No, 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 Oh, 
Radio station. You can hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 p.m. Every day with your DJ, One Kai. Right here on Super K-Pop. All right, are you guys having a great time here on K-Pop Legend? Well, I hope so. All right, I want to uh, introduce to you guys a co-ed duo, and uh, they go by the name of 2-2. Now, this next song is very, very cute. It's too bad this song is best explained with its choreography, but uh, I'll try my best. Now, in the 1990s, the K-pop scene was filled with a variety of groups performing different genres. Now, one of the most eye-catching teams was this group, 2-2. Now, they were a co-ed duo made up of Kim Ji-hoon and Hwang Ye-young. And they became known for their unique choreography, and Hwang Ye-young was the expressionless face on stage. Now this song, One and a Half, has lyrics that talk about how a couple that used to be one split up into two. A very sad song. But uh, here it is. It's by 2-2 two, two, and it's called One and a Half. 1과 2분의 1 
All right, did you guys enjoy that song? All right, now we'll listen to two songs that were so influential that they were still played and enjoyed today, long after initial release. And uh, the next K-pop legend everyone knows, she is truly Korea's original diva, and she goes by the name of In Suni. Now, she is a singer with unmatched, powerful vocals, and uh, she debuted as a part of the female duo in, 19, in 1978, and was immediately considered one of the top female singers in Korea. Now, one of her most well-known hits, A Goose Dream, was actually a cover of an original song by Lee Jung. Now, many people felt that In Suni's version hit closer to the heart than Lee Jung's original, including Lee Jung himself. So we're going to listen to this song in just a moment. And uh, the next uh, artist is called Delhi Spice. Now, Delhi Spice is one of Korea's first major indie bands. Uh, they debuted in 1997 after recruiting their members online. Now, if you listen to their first album, it's easy to see why they were able to pick up such a large following. The tracks are a mix of sweet love songs and resigned songs about the injustice in today's society. And the song that uh, we're going to listen to is Confession. Uh, and it was released in 2004, and it's the biggest hit from Delhi Spice. Uh, you can see tons of people singing along whenever they perform it. It's truly amazing to see that so many people know this song, even though they're not mainstream. But uh, here it is, these two songs. Let's check it out. In Suni, A Goose Dream, Koie Kung, and Delhi Spice, Confession, Quebec. Thank you. 
첫째 줄에 겨우 백육십이 됐을 무렵 쓸만한 녀석들은 모두 다 이미 첫사랑 진행 중 정말 듣고 싶었던 말이야 물론 2년 전 일이 하는 게 당연한데 내 기분은 그게 아니야 하지만 미안해 이 넓은 가슴에 묻혀 다른 누구를 생각했었어 미안해 너의 손을 잡고 걸을 때에도 
All right, I hope you guys enjoy those songs. And now we have one more song for K-pop legend, and uh, I'm sure all the female uh, fans know him. And uh, yeah, he goes by the name of Seven. And uh, the male soloist Seven appeared uh, just around the time when there was no male single artist to capture the hearts of teenage female fans. Now, the sight of a handsome singer performing on stage with wheels on his shoes was truly enough to start a sensation. And his debut album was truly a hit, and the song was called Come Back to Me. And it may sound sweet, but it's actually a very sad song, pleading with a lost love to come back. And uh, we have a message uh, from Singapore. It's uh, Suzanne Chow. And she says, Hi, Randy. I wonder if you can play this song, Wajo, Come Back to Me by Seven. Uh, I like to dedicate to Seven himself. Now, I think he should be out of the army, but I have not heard or seen uh, any news of him yet. And I just wonder if he's going to come back to showbiz. Now, this is a very important song for me. Uh, this was a song that started my K-pop journey. Now, I think of the Super K-pop family may not have heard of this song. Just like to introduce him to the Super K-pop family. And Randy, wonder if you uh, remind still is my 10th year uh, in K-pop. And as the years go by, my bias list goes longer, but he's still the top of all. And I just hope this talented artist who can sing, write, dances, and a little acting will come back to the showbiz. P.S. Uh, Randy, don't worry. You are on my top five on my bias list. Thanks and love, Suzanne. And Suzanne, uh, I will be sure to play this song for you. And uh, we all love Seven. He's a very talented dancer and singer. And uh, yeah, so I'll play that song in just a moment. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys uh, for tuning in to Super K-Pop. I hope everyone had a very great time because I did. And everyone out there, please enjoy your fabulous Saturday. You all guys deserve it. All right. Now, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. And the last song for today will be by Seven. And it's called Come Back to Me. Wajo. Bye-bye.